We're going to work another lens maker problem, but this time we've got uh, a different situation. We've got what's called a plano convex lens. Plano convex. And this really just means that one side is a plane, it, flat, and the other side is convex. Now the lens maker formula tells us that the focal length or 1 over the focal length is equal to the index of refraction of the lens over the index of refraction for air minus 1 times 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. Um, the problem here is that we've only got an R1. We don't seem to have an R2. But in reality we do have an R2. This flat really means that the radius of curvature for this side of the lens is infinite. And you might initially think, well, that's a big problem because I don't know how to work a problem with an infinite number in it. Um, but you got to keep in mind that the equation says it's 1 over R2. If R2 is infinite, 1 over infinity is 0. So this term goes away or becomes 0. So really the equation is simpler than it would be for a biconvex lens maker formula. So let's go ahead and put our values in here. We're going to put in 1 over the focal length. Now let's simplify this because this is really it's the index of refraction of the lens over the index of refraction for air. Well, the index of refraction for air is simply 1. So let's just really simplify this by saying this is really just n lens. Because when we work lens formulas, we're really working them for some material like plastic or glass or something that's the lens. And the other thing being air. There might be some exotic situations where you can think of something different than air, but we just want to work these problems for air. So really this is this reduces down to just n lens, index of refraction for le the lens minus 1 times 1 over R1. That's it. So let's plug some numbers in here. n lens minus 1, we said that the index of refraction for the lens is 1.5. So 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over a radius of curvature of 10 centimeters is going to give us our focal is going to give us 1 over our focal length, not our focal length. So let's simplify down to that. So this just gives us 1 over the focal length equals 0.5 times 0.1, which equals 0.05, just 1 tenth of 0.5. And that's going to give us 1 over the focal length. So really, the focal length is going to be the reciprocal of 1 over the focal length, which is going to be the reciprocal of 0.05, which equals 20, and our units with centimeters. So this is our answer, 20 centimeters, for the focal length.